<laughs> Massive theatre company's production, Sightings, has been described as bold, tender and funny. And it asks us to consider what it means to be a Kiwi. Five gutsy young women tell stories that seem perfectly timed to align with the 125th anniversary of women's suffrage in New Zealand. Here to tell us more are co-director Kura Forrester and performer George Amin Hennett. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Um, Kura, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about the work. What's it about? Sure. So Sightings is a commissioned uh, play for Massive Company. So usually we work with devising, devise shows, but this process has been a little bit different so we've had three writers write a script for our five young actors and it's a short a show about finding inner resilience it's about who you draw on in times of crisis um, it's a really interesting complex rich show like most of massive company so shows the, are. the three writers have written together they have yeah okay. yeah so it was quite a quite a uh, a new process for us yeah. but they've done really well so the actors were given provocations about questions about their lives that writers took those provocations and went away and wrote a script and here we are rehearsing it now. Good. And I want to talk more too about sort of the way it's constructed on stage but we'll deal with that in just a minute. Sure. George, a good time to bring you in here. Yeah. Given what could have just said, mm -hmm. as a performer, how have you found the process, dealing with it differently? Oh, it's It's been amazing. It's been very... Oh. How do I say this? It's been fantastic, really. We've been working really closely with the directors and the other five actors and with the writers. And um, working with our own personal stories is also very interesting as well. How would you explain it to your friends? Of the show? Yeah. Uh, um, oh, three girls, you follow them throughout a big crazy night. One of them has just been through a bit of a family crisis. And how do you... How do you get through when mm. you're really not having a good time? Do you draw on your family? Do you draw on your friends? When do you mm. when do you move on? And how do you pick yourself up? And right. you say they're your own personal stories have been involved. So so the writers have taken your own stories. Mm. How's that? Is that is that quite personal? Being on stage and working through your own story? Yeah, it's really beautiful, really. So um, I got to share heaps of my personal stories from my family, and I'm actually really lucky. I get to share one of them that my popper actually told me. And you know you can think about that when you're on stage and when you're performing. And I've been able to perform some of my friends' stories, some of the other cast members' personal stories as well. And yeah, no, it's oh, really special. What a moment! Mm. Okay, well, it'll be exciting when they come along, the family members, to see this. So, so mm. Kura, it's not your typical go and see a theatre show, though, is it? No, it's not. It's um, it's definitely not a sort of kitchen sink drama at all. We use a lot of different techniques in our show to tell our story, so it's definitely not um, a regular theatre experience, I great. guess, which is a real great reason to come yeah. along and see it. And what I really love about this project is these five young women are really playing their size. They play their whole range of their lives, mm. and we don't get to see that very often in theatre, I don't think, especially young people mm. really playing as big as they can be. Mm. So that's really exciting. Mm. So this is about being, being a Kiwi, being a New Zealander? Absolutely, and it's got being international stories as well, mm. yeah, absolutely, about being a young woman and, and being in crisis in what you do. Mm. Yeah. We, we used to see you on the stage, yeah. Kuta, so this is like you co-directing this. How's that experience been? <laughs> really great. <laughs> is this your first time? It is. It's my first sort of uh, big professional co-directorship. So I'm working alongside Sam Scott, my friend and mentor, and learning heaps from her about how to really hold a project. So it is very different for me being on the other side of it, but really cool to add another string to my bow, I guess, yeah. And great timing too, you know, with what's going on in the world at the moment. What is it like to be a, a woman and a Kiwi as well? Is there, Georgia, an underlining theme with the stories? Oh, um, about courage, finding courage. Um, yeah, being a woman, supporting each other. Oh, what else? What are the other yeah, underlying Yeah, those are great. Themes? Yeah, mm -hmm. and, yeah. Just, and just sort of how being to... Being relentlessly yourself, that's the yes, other one. Yeah. yeah. Being relentlessly yourself and building your own sense of courage so that, yes, you can support. You can get support as much as possible, but how do you essentially 
look after yourself as well. So yeah. many strong females involved with this whole show. Yeah. Um, yourself, obviously, both of you. And uh, Marima, Minnie Alma McDowell was one of the writers as well. She was, she's yeah. She's a busy lady. She's got a bit on her chin. Yeah, yeah, she's doing all sorts. <laughs> yeah, so that's been great having her. And also she's a, a long-time Massive Company member. Uh, also, you know, adding to her skill set as a writer as well. We also have the lovely Denise Sua, who was in The Wholehearted with us last year. She, so she's developing as a writer and we had Fiona Graham on board as well who's a long time a member of Massive but also lives in London is a professor of writing and wow. um, dramaturgy <laughs> she's yeah she's huge so those three working together has been awesome mm. well, it sounds like a must see absolutely yep, okay yep, good yep. we like that yep. love seeing strong women on the stage and behind the scenes as well hey thank you both very much for coming along yeah, today awesome. no worries. A sightings plays from next tuesday at auckland's q theater before heading to whangarei and then to the going west festival in september you can check out massive company's production page for ticket details <laughs>